Hey guys, what is going on? It's your boy Rob from Panther Vision, and today I want to show you another tutorial with a Vortex. Uh, this is different. I'm going to use different tools to uh, create this stuff, so stick with me. But before we jump in, if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're going to get notified with new updates. So let's jump in. First thing, we're going to choose this uh, line here, the selection. Click on the screen and uh, just type in the length to be 100 and the angle to be 90 degrees. Click OK. From here, we got to go to Effects, Distort and Transform, Transform. Click Previews and you can see these little squares around here. Now, what this does is basically if we, let's say, let's create like, I don't know, 10 copies. And we're going to rotate the angle. As you can see now, it's in the center. If I bring this down, it's going to rotate it uh, on, the, uh, on the down part. If I put it up here, it's going to rotate it upwards or a right or left. I don't even know what is this. But the main idea, yeah, yeah, exactly. So, But the main idea is to put it here down in the center. Let's create somewhere around, I don't know, you can play around with these things and uh, I can uh, also, let's see it on uh, 5% and you just do this, you know, until it's going to be right at the end. So at minus 5%, basically it's like 71 copies. Uh, I'm thinking to like... Let me see on six. Let's put it on six, 59 copies and click OK. So as you can see, we created this interesting uh, line circle thing. OK, from here, we're going to zoom in a little and we're going to go to the pan tool. We're going to uh, long click and select the add anchor point tool. Uh, we're going to add some anchor points around uh, this line here, like here, here, and yeah, this should be enough. We're going to press A, or we're going to long select this and select the direct selection tool. From here, we're going to adjust the anchor points, okay? Oh, wait a sec, because uh, I need to deselect this, snap the pixels, okay? And... Uh, we're going to do it with all the anchor points. And yeah, until you get something like this. And the main idea is to make these uh, anchor points with, I mean, you need to make it like wavy, right? So what we need to do is select all the anchor points. Let me select them all and just Actually, no, you need to select it separately. Okay, we got it. And click, you selected the anchor point, then you click on this thing. Convert selected anchor point to smooth. So we're going to do the same thing with uh, every each of the anchor points. We're going to smooth these out until you're going to look like uh, some hair going on, like some beautiful hair. From here, we're going to you know, drag the handles and uh, adjust the handles how you want. Uh, you can do it all kind of ways. Uh, you can do it like all kind of shapes. But the my main idea is to create some waves quickly. It doesn't need to be complicated. It's just a demo. Okay, we made it wavy and from here we also can uh, make this wavy with another tool but uh, as I said, I'm going to show you like this tool, how I made it and from here we're going to adjust uh, the width of, uh, of this line and we're going to press shift plus W or you can select it from here 
the width tool and with this we can make the lines more wide or more um, thinner I gotta make here wide and I gonna decrease the width in this space and increase here more wow and it start, starts to get together slowly okay it should look something like that so far so good uh, I think I'm gonna increase the width in here too even more and again press the letter A and you know you can adjust with the direct selection tool then adjust the weight on the until you get what you want basically okay I'm gonna speed this video up so uh, until you perfect it okay I think I got this we're almost finished I'm gonna create a new copy press and hold alt and then shift to isolate it in my case only actually uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, remove some of the uh, anchor points to see how it's gonna look that way I'm gonna press this oh, no, it won't be good anyways I'm gonna expand this go to object expand appearance okay I'm going to unite these together basically and I'm gonna cut this center part out because it's kind of uh, it's too black it's too much dark stuff going on inside should be something around this so now it's like cleaned out see that okay uh, I'm gonna centralize it eventually if it's not in the right center and click this delete it and yeah create another okay so we're done finally so this is the this kind of a vortex kind of stuff that I just made a while ago and this is how it looks okay so hope it helped uh, thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and like so yeah have a great day bye bye